Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Held Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you enjoy what you've seen and if you want to see more. Coming up in today's episode, the USARL have announced their new chair for the next four years. The NARL announce new sponsorship deal but concerns mount over missing former Saints, Wigan and Bradford Bulls player. So in recent months there has been some niggle in the uh, way that the USARL was run with regards to their clubs and board members and also people looking in from the inside as the International Rugby League board actually stepped in to have a look to see what was going on. And But at the USARL LLC annual general meeting on Sunday the 13th of February, the members elected um, Drew Slova as their new chair, locking him in for a four-year term where he was already serving as an interim chair. Slovo has been invited with involved with rugby league in the USA for more than 16 years. He founded the Jacksonville Axemen with business partner Daryl Spinner Howland in 2006, which has grown to be one of the most successful rugby league teams in the United States. The Jacksonville Axemen have been rep uh, playing in the eight championship finals, winning in 2010, 2012 and 2018. Players from the Axemen have represented six different countries, including US, um, the USA even. Several players who were introduced to rugby league through the Jacksonville Axemen have traveled and played for other teams around the world. So, along with playing the Jacksonville Axemen, Slova has organized more than 20 international rugby league events in Jacksonville, Florida, including eight rugby league World Cup qualifying games, most notably the Australia Day Challenge in 2008, which brought in over 12,500 fans from their 40 states and 15 countries to watch the South Sydney Rabbitohs take on the Leeds Rhinos. In 2011, Slova develops a reserve grade competition for the Axemen, which acted as a feeder club for the team. In 2014, the, this competition then evolved into a three new teams in the South and the South Eastern Rugby League competition. Teams that originated from that included the Tampa Mayhem, Atlanta Rhinos and Central Florida Warriors two of which are in the USARL and one in the NARL. Slava himself has been involved in uh, founding the USARL and has been an active board member for both the LLC, the men's domestic competition, and the INC, the national governing body, for many years. He owns an advertising agency in Jacksonville and has two children with his wife Mary. His family is equally passionate about rugby league and Mary serves as an athletics trainer for the Axemen and the USA Hawks men's and wheelchair rugby league team. In his acceptance speech, Slauther touched on the ways the league can grow and build. He laid out plans to share lessons learned from his experiences at the Axemen with the entire league. So sharing guides and a web series of webinars um, will be the way that he looks at doing best practice. He also spoke of the need for clubs to compete on the field but cooperate off the field working together to build the competition. I'm excited to use my experience as a team owner to help move things forward for all teams in USA, says Slauber. Even though we compete against each other on the field, all the teams in the USARL are in this together. I'm hoping to foster an environment where teams support each other to make the league more and more successful as a whole. Rugby League is, has so much potential to grow and we need to work collaboratively to improve the presence in the US. So now we have some news coming out of the NARL as 
big partnership deal has cropped up on social media over the last day. They have announced that a partnership between FAIR, the online NFT partners, uh, producers, um, are partnering up with the NARL to produce their NFTs for their inaugural season and beyond. NFTs, from my understanding, are digital content that can be sold and resold with the NARL having the option to hold the copyrights to that information as they would that. That's a software or content or whatever um, so that they can resell it over and over again and if they sold it in whole could keep the rights and still make a profit off the uh, content. It's things like pictures, art, videos, games, so on and so forth, apps, whatever. Uh, this new partnership um, Warfare comes hot on the heels after the deals were re recently agreed with um, Espanol Football Club and IPA, the International Professional Pools Association. North American Rugby League is the first professional rugby league competition in North America, goes the statement, and aims to grow the sport of rugby league through the unique com combination of traditional and modern techniques like NFTs. Robert Curtis, the NARL CEO, said we are delighted to partner with such an innovative company as FAIR. This relationship will go hand in hand with our existing esports partners and will enable us to expand and target fans previously unattained by the Super Rugby League. This is the start of an exciting relationship and we look forward to a long and fruitful partnership that will benefit both parties. Luis Carranza, FAIR CEO and founder, stated it's an exciting time in sports. Engagement in the sector is starting to be enhanced by digital asset assets as collectibles, but also esports. Web3 is adding a new dynamic to all sports and rugby is no exception. We are delighted to be exploring the po new possibilities with the NARL. In conversations I've had, that the NARL have always been looking to um, improve themselves and enter new demographics to entice people to rugby league and look to grow the game. And North America being big with the collectibles and whether they're digital or um, physical, it is a good way to step into the digital market. And with Fair, who are doing quite well. Uh, being the partner of this, it will be a good starting point for the NARL. And we're finished today in America again as former St. Helens, Wigan and Bradford player Bryn Hargreaves has been missing in the US for over a month. Suffering a car crash in December, his family have revealed. Hargreaves, who's 36, has been living stateside for a decade, but has not been in touch with his family since just after the new year. The prop forward retired at 26 years old, after his contract was not renewed by Bradford Bulls, who was in serious financial difficulties at the time. And after meeting an American woman while on holiday in Mexico the, uh, the previous year, Hargreaves moved across the Atlantic in 2012, where he resided in Pittsburgh with his now wife, but then wife. But unfortunately, things didn't go to plan uh, for Hargreaves while over in America. His marriage didn't last and he was working for an engineering firm, which wasn't the job he wanted despite progressing into the role of project manager. Before COVID hit, Two years ago, a job transfer saw Hargreaves move to Morgantown, West Virginia, where he went missing last month. The crash on the de December the 8th left him with back, a back injury and an undrivable Jeep, meaning Hargreaves had to rely on Ubers or walking to get around. He has been on medical leave from work since the incident. 
Hargreaves is said to live in the Cheap Lake area of Morgantown, West Virginia, and has been missing since the 16th of January 2022, and is now 36 years old, but concerns from his family in trying to find their Hargreaves keep being played out, and they're making pleas to anyone in the area and also the sheriff's department as well into hopefully getting their uh, and getting Brim back safe and sound. Detective Stephen Curry, the lead investigator on the case, said we have people out there almost every day. It has been it hasn't been easy in the snow. It takes time. I know people get frustrated. We know he's not driving his car. The search for Hargreaves is continuing, though the elements in West Virginia have made it very difficult. Hargreaves has not been spotted on CCTV or at any of the businesses and restaurants he was known to frequently visit. And his brother added, We know the police are doing everything they can, and we're so thankful for the support of everyone else with the social media push, said David. A colleague of Brin's raised the alarm uh, after contacting the ex-Super League player's family to inquire about his well-being after he had not been seen for a while. The police tried the door of his apartment on January the 16th. It was unlocked with his wallet and keys present. I do hope we find a better end to this story as loved ones going missing is hard at the best of times but not being able to get over there in Covid properly due to travel restrictions it must be driving the family mad. Good luck with this search I do hope it is a positive outcome. Just a little bit of a background for Bryn. Bryn came through the ranks at Wigan Warriors and played 28 games for them while initially going out on loan to Lee Centurions in uh, 2006 so that Wigan can complete the, the signing of Stuart Field into, into the club. He then moved on to St. Helens where he won the Challenge Cup and the World Club Challenge but failed in two grand final appearances against Leeds Rhinos but was a first choice prop forward alongside James Graham for the two years that he were there due to injuries and establishment of his actual talent. He then moved over to Bradford Bulls at the start of the 2011 season but it was the issues that in Bradford Bulls financial structure that forced him not to have a new contract for the 2013 season. He played 50, sorry, yeah, 54 games for the Bradford Bulls, scoring one try uh, during his two years at the club. But he had six years in rugby league, and many say his talent should have seen him play much more. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this video worldwide as we need to get the word out about finding uh, Bryn Hargreaves for his family and hopefully for the best, save them well. Anyone in that area, if they have any tips or if you have seen Bryn anywhere, the email address below is will direct you to a tip line a tip page where you can post your tips there is all sorts of different news on there description of what he's wearing what he looks like pictures past present and and as current as possible if you are in west virginia please please share this video and share this around as it's a it's a part of our rugby league family i'll end the episode there Thank you so much for watching. Remember to share this video. We need to get the word out.
all the best.